Hey everybody, thanks for dropping by today to view this uh, YouTube video. And like the heading said, this is all about uh, Ohm's Law and, a, and an easy way to kind of remember how to do Ohm's Law. Um, yes, for all of you that are looking in the background and see my kitchen is such a disaster area, it is. And that is a paint sprayer in the middle of my kitchen. I'm just in the middle of fixing it. Luckily, it's not a V8 engine. <laughs> and I can tell you that I've done this video once or twice. Because what happens is, for some reason, as I'm doing things, I'll say, well, this is the formula for this, and for some reason I write something totally different, and I didn't want to put a screwed up video on the web, so I've redone this a couple times. So, here's what we have to think. Um, as an electrician or a HVAC guy or a, a, um, a microelectronics guy, you have to remember basic formulas. And things like the resistors, you have to remember the color codes. We all came up with mnemonics to remember that. And we all have different views of how they've been recalled. Um, and then Ohm's Law. And Ohm's Law is a very large wheel, and that wheel contains formulas all the way around the wheel to get to certain areas that you need to know. So I'm going to show you today how I remember it. And it may work for you, it may not. But uh, I, I think it's a, a really easy way of remembering these things. Okay, so I'm going to grab this camera. And I'm going to apologize right off because I, I'm sure that the sound is much louder than it uh, should be uh, because we're so close to the microphone. Now, in remembering things, uh, w what I found is you have to remember something that doesn't necessarily relate to electrical or maybe something that makes you remember it fondly. You know, like in my particular case, I'm into boats, obviously, as most of you know. And I know that in this wheel to get things started, I have to remember something that's going to get me started, the very first step. And my very first step is to remember pier. A pier is something you tie your boat to. I can remember that really easy. So I'm going to spell P-I-E-R. Now I'm going to put a cross between them. Draw a circle around it. Okay. Now, this is the start of the wheel. Pier. Pretty simple thing to remember. Now, a lot of places will tell you to put the different things up on the top and the bottom, and but I think this is the easiest way to remember this. And I draw four T's across the top of the page. And these are representing my formulas. Now, what do I remember? I remember from class, for example, that E times IR. That's a formula that's really simple to remember. So I can fill that in right away. I also remember that pi is another formula. Okay, so wow, we're already halfway there. But let's say I didn't remember pi, or let's say I didn't remember e over i. Now I start putting things to remind me what they are. So in the first one, I'm going to say ear, e i r. Second one, I'm going to say pi. I want another way to remember this in case I forget pi or forget that. I know that across the top of this table, it's going to be E, P, P, E, M, and I'm a square. Yes, you heard me say it. I'm a square. E, P, P, E, I'm a square. I remember that line for some reason. Then I'm going to think about the base of my wheel and think, I'm standing by the pier. I, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> so what I remember is I I I gotta pee. Yes, you heard that first on YouTube here. I I I gotta pee. Now we know that the last ones are R. So I I I gotta pee. Urgh. <laughs> yes. Er, I remember that the last two are R's. It's just something that's easy to remember. Now, most people would look at these and say, there's something wrong here. There's a formula that's wrong. And now we go back to remembering the four basic formulas. And I remember ear. I remember pi. And a lot of people take this one and they remember as Peter. P, I, 2, R. Peter. I don't know. I don't know how they got to that, but I just remember that that's how I remember Peter. 
Okay, so now we have four basic formulas. We go back to the wheel, and by the way, we have to put two lines in each quarter, and the quarter being this. So we're putting two lines in there. So this is a lot of formula to have to, because each one of these have a formula to them, right? You gotta remember all these, it's pretty tough. But hey, I remember these, EPPE2, IIIP, you remember all that? That's that's pretty simple to remember for most of you. So, I know you're thinking, this is kind of weird. How's he coming up with all these formulas? How's this gonna work? So now, look how easy it gets. You've now remembered these basic formulas because they're really easy to remember. Now you say, I need to know P. And I should point out that P is power, I is amperage, R is resistance, E is voltage. Now you can change these to the A and the V, but I find to leave them alone and just put these little marks in there to remind myself, okay? So now what I do is say, I need to know a formula for P. I go up to the top of the formulas and I cover over the P with my thumb and say, ooh, I times E. Cover the P, I squared times R. And we got one more here, I over R, or sorry, E over R. Wow, that seems pretty easy, doesn't it? So we know that these formulas are gonna work this way. We just keep covering up the prospective number. There are two formulas you have to remember. And the reason I put a V and an A here is to remind me that V and A have two, something that's gotta be done. And I know that in this formula table, for example, I need to know I. Well, we know I squared. If I want I squared, I have to go P over R. But because I'm doing I squared on the one side means I have to do the same thing to the formula on the other side. So I have to do P over R squared. Ooh, look, that's where the A is. The V down here gives me the formula for the I believe it's P uh, times R squared. We'll give you the V. So this is how I basically remember the wheel. Then once I go through and fill all this in, but by the way, you just start with the E's, do the E's first, do the I's first, do the R's first. And once you're done, the wheel will be completely filled in. Then go up to the top and go, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. You got your chart below. So now whenever you wanna do something, you know, for example, P. I want to know P. I have my amperage. So let's say I've got 15 amps. I know that if I times the amperage by the voltage, that is the same as saying I times E equals. That's there's your formulas. This is all you really need to know. And this, for us, for the guys writing the electrical uh, test, there's nothing that says that when we start this, uh, when you go into the sit down in the class, you know, you got a few minutes while people are sitting there getting all set up for your exam. Uh, wh what I would be doing is, because th this is initially a really strong tool to have beside your calculator. Uh, this would be something that I would be sitting down and doing before the test even starts because it's really got nothing to do with the test. And there's nothing they can do about it because you've memorized it. It's not like you brought this in. You just sit there, draw your color, your wheel out, get it all down, get all your formulas put in. And by the time they say go with the test, now you're all ready to go and you've got all your formulas written down. This will save you a lot of marks, trust me. So remember, E, P, P, E, because I'm a square. I, 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 got a P. And we got two leftover R's. The formula rhymes are ear, pi, and the last one was P, I, 2, R, Peter. And then, of course, you have the balance of the formulas. So these are the things we really need to know, and I hope this helps you. Uh, I know it's kind of a strange way to remember all this stuff, but strange is always good because if you try to remember all these formulas, I know that I try to remember the resistor uh, formulas, the 0 to 10, I think it is, or 11, uh, and, and the 
brown to red and all that sort of stuff. Trying to remember which one was for number one and which one was number five. It was really hard. And then when I come up with the, uh, the, the when one of the teachers told us the, the, the rhyme for it, it made it so much easier. It had nothing to do with our class, but if you wrote that rhyme out, took the first letter of all of the words in the rhyme, you got all the color codes and you wrote them out and just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beside it. Boom! It worked. Wow. By the way, I got perfect on that exam. So anyway, thanks very much for stopping by. If I can think of anything else that'll help you remember stuff, uh, I'll put it on the website here. Um, but uh, yes, I'm still studying and I still don't think I'm going to pass a damn thing, but uh, I'm hopeful. Thanks for watching.